Well, hey everyone, this is Shirish and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm back with another one of the amazing US University, University of Minnesota. Well, before I begin this video, here's a quick update. Many of you have asked me about my program, Ivy Coho. Well, every summer, I help small group of college applicants through the application program and are doing all the applications in my very famous program, Ivy Coho. But it's an eight-week high-power live sessions with me to help build your application from scratch. Mine is to help you build winning applications to six different colleges. Well, I truly believe in this program and because it's a small cohort, seats are extremely limited. So if you are interested, make sure to click on the link in the description box to get more details and enroll before it gets sold out. I will see you live inside the program if you wish to join the tribe of successful applicants. For this video, I will give you an in-depth view of the university and will decode the academic, social and financial aspects of the university with my star ratings. And then I will offer you the most important tips and strategies to get into this university. Make sure to listen closely as I'll be sharing most amazing strategies to get into University of Minnesota. So let's hit it up for University of Minnesota. Hi, I'm Shirish Gupta and I empower people to hack their success, rise above the challenges and confidently create an extraordinary life they deserve. Well, Minnesota is a public land-grant research university in Minnesota. It was established in 1851. The University of Minnesota Twin Cities is among the nation's top public research universities with award-winning faculty, state-of-the-art facilities, and world-class academics. It is one of the public IVs which includes publicly funded universities thought to provide the quality of education comparable to that of an Ivy League. Two vice presidents have called home to U of M. Award-winning authors, musicians, and journalists have too. Astronauts, civil rights leaders, Athletes, groundbreaking physicians, inventors, Nobel Prize winners all have been part of Minnesota. So it's a great university. The location of the Minnesota campuses are near city center. The university campus is located in the Twin Cities. It is commonly known as Twin Cities after the metro's two largest cities, Minneapolis and St. Paul. The weather here is extremely cold in the winters. Minnesota has about 2,700 acres to its name in total. Its campus is located in two locations, Twin Cities of Minneapolis and St. Paul, Minnesota. The two campuses are five miles apart and linked by a free bus service. Both campuses offer a blend of traditional and modern architecture with column buildings seated next to sleek geometric structures. As it's cold here, campus designers found a way to get around or under wet or wintry conditions by linking many of the campus buildings with tunnels. The most popular majors at Minnesota include psychology, communication studies, journalism, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, entrepreneurial management, international business. Although I'm not a big fan of judging a university solely on the basis of the ranking, Minnesota is also one of the top 5% universities in the world, according to US News, QS News, and all other major ranking services. All right, now let's move on to our next section, talking about the right fit, starting with academic fit. The academics at Minnesota is extremely difficult, but it really depends on the subject. The universities, on the semester system, and almost all classes have a pass-fail option. The University of Minnesota Twin Cities offers about 150 plus majors and about 135 plus minors for undergraduates and about 150 plus degree and research programs for graduates. Minnesota's liberal education requirements call for students in all schools and colleges to complete a set of basic distribution requirements and take courses that satisfy four of the five themes, civic life and ethics, U.S. diversity and social justice, the environment, global perspectives, technology and society, and on top of it, writing courses. The College of Science and Engineering is notable for its tuition and internship options. The electrical and mechanical engineering programs are particularly strong and well sought after. The students prefer taking up technology courses because of immense resources dedicated to the research programs as well. The Carlson School of Management is well recognized as well and offers majors in entrepreneurial management, international business and other areas. Psychology, communication studies, journalism, and computer science are the most popular majors as stated earlier. Minnesota has one of the largest study abroad programs in the nation that students can benefit from. It offers an abundance of academic choices to its students. The faculty at Minnesota is amazing too. Professors receive high marks from students as being approachable and knowledgeable. Helpful teaching assistants are abundant as well. Minnesota has about 26 Nobel laureates, countless scholar awards, and three Pulitzer Prize in its faculty and alumni network. The class size at Minnesota is small to average. 32% classes have fewer than 20 students. So keeping all this thing in mind, I would like to rate Minnesota with four stars on academic difficulty and quality level, where five is the highest level. Well, after academic fit, let's move on to social fit. 
Social life is limited here, partly due to research-oriented students spending most of their time on computers and partly due to weather. Size of the university guarantees that you will be lost in the crowd. But then size does have its virtues in the countless arrays of campus resources. It offers unparalleled opportunities for students to grow academically, socially, and personally. The University of Minnesota is ideal for those who appreciate an urban setting and a good old-fashioned button-up-your-overcoat winter. Loads of activities available on campus such as bowling, theater, late-night activities, numerous sports and movies, student unions, bowling alley, pool tables, movie theater, and live music, dance clubs are good places to meet people. For those who love winter, happy skiers and skaters become the most sought-after sports all over the state's white backdrop. In the spring and summer, Minnesota's famed 10,000 lakes offer swimming, boating, and fishing. The downtown areas of the Twin Cities are easy to get to by bus, and there are scores of good bars, restaurants, night spots, and movie theaters. Minnesota has above about 50,000 students, with about 30,000 as an undergrad and remaining as PG and PhD. The university has a 9% student body as international students. Dorm life at Minnesota follows the big school, wait in the line theme. 21% of all undergraduates live in residence halls. There are eight tradition halls and three university-run apartment facilities. Dorm rooms are hard to obtain and parking spaces for all those commuters are almost at scarce. The university offers affordable housing options to individual postgraduate students as well as students with families. Once you're there, you're required to join a meal plan. Opinions vary on the quality and variety of the food, but fresh fruit and veggies are always available. Sports is popular here as well. Both intermediate and Division I varsity sports are popular. Women's ice hockey has scored four national championships in the last decade. Men's ice hockey, baseball and women's soccer, softball and track and field have all won Big Ten conference titles in the recent years. Intermodal competition can go on well past midnight. As of 2021, Minnesota's current and former students have won 76 Olympic medals. Minnesota offers competitive academics and good social life. So I would like to give it four stars out of five on quality of life at Minnesota. Now let's look at the financial fit. Well, Minnesota falls in an affordable school category. For undergraduate, the tuition fees is about 35,000 annually and ranges between 30,000 to 60,000 for postgraduate students with medical and management programs hitting the higher range of the tuition fee. The housing and dining is about $18,000 for most programs annually. As far as financial aid is concerned, Minnesota offers a lot of scholarship options. So that's a good thing. Need-based financial aid is available as well as merit scholarships are available for both undergraduate and graduate level, averaging about $5,000 and can go higher in some cases. Minnesota also offers athletic awards in all major sports, but mostly winter sports. I would like to give it a five stars out of five on financial fit. Well, after exploring the fit, let's move to the most curious section on how to triple your chances of getting into Minnesota with my special admission strategies and tips. The ideas I'm going to share now come from my decade-long experience working with students for career and college admission. Minnesota is one of the elite colleges that are not very selective. The acceptance rate last year was 70% overall, but most popular programs such as psychology, mathematics, and other such programs have much lower acceptance rate. In fact, admission to Minnesota for international students in some programs is very competitive, and the number of available spaces varies by colleges, so don't be fooled by the acceptance rate and make sure to work well on your applications for an admission. To begin your journey with Minnesota, if you are an international student, you must sign up for the International Student and Scholar Services mailing list to get updates on deadlines and scholarships and information on academic majors, rankings, costs, and more. You can also find out about the University of Minnesota Twin City representatives or alumni on social media in your country and connect with them. If you're a domestic student, you too must sign up for the university mailing list to get all the recent updates. And if possible, visit the campus to know the place better. It's always great if you can visit the campus and if you're a local student. University of Minnesota Twin Cities uses two factors, academic factor and contextual factors. As for the university, because the greatest predictor of college success is academic preparation, the strongest consideration in the decision is given to a student's high school or college record. The university looks for coursework, grades in academic course, class rank, and grade point average, which is GPA. Rigor of academic curriculum based on what is available, standardized tests, applicants' academic interests like major-related or research-related. Although academic factor is more important for admission, but Minnesota also considers what they call as context factors. Individual circumstances are considered as part of the overall assessment of each application. 
Enrolling a diverse student body with students bringing differing experiences, talents, and perspectives to the scholarly community is essential of achieving the de development outcomes of University of Minnesota education. So they look for outstanding talent, uh, achievements, or aptitude in a particular area, strong commitment to community service and leadership, contribution to student body in your current school or college, evidence of having overcome social, economic, or physical barriers to educational achievement, and any other personal or professional challenges. These all are considered. The application to University of Minnesota Twin City requires only three items for undergraduate admission. First is online application. Second is an application fee. And the third is self-reported academic record. Generally, no letters of recommendation or essays are required for undergraduates. But postgraduates have this requirement based on the course and needs all three items mentioned above along with letters of recommendation and statement of purpose or specific essays as required by the individual department. I would highly advise you to make sure to check these requirements before starting the application. The U of M requires all international students to present English proficiency. All undergraduate, postgraduate programs at University of Minnesota Twin Cities require a specific minimum score for admission, ranging from about 80 to 100 TOEFL score or equivalent in other exams like IELTS, for example. As for deadlines for admission, Minnesota offers two deadlines for undergraduate admissions, and that is early action, and it is generally November 1st for the preceding year of your entry year. And the other one is regular decision, which is about Jan or the 1st February. For all postgraduate courses, they have individual department deadlines with either one or two deadlines between September and March every application year. Transfer applicants are welcomed as well, depending upon the availability with application accepted between November and to March, depending upon the course. In the end, to conclude, if you are a hard worker, fun-loving, research-oriented, like living in cold weather, Minnesota is for you. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Please make sure to support my work by liking and sharing this video and also subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon. If you want to get admission to University of Minnesota or other top universities, I would highly recommend you to check out this course on college admission. I have created this course with 11 years of my expertise and helped thousands of students to get admitted to top colleges such as Howard, MIT, Stanford, Oxford and all other top colleges around the world. This course packs the most advanced college admission strategies for university shortlisting, profile building, essay writing, college interviews and everything else that will make sure you get into the school of your choice. It's a sure ticket for your dream college admission. Well, thank you once again and I'll be back with another amazing video for you. Till then, this is Sharice signing off. Take care. Have a good one. Bye-bye.